It's the first meeting of the season between Nikwa Valley and Wabanzi Valley as the two teams split the season series last year. The Wildcats are 2-1 in the DVC while the Warriors are 2-0 and hope to stay undefeated in conference play. Wabanzi and Michael Johnson get their offense attack going early. Sujan Gapana sets up the kill. Gapanath adds on to the Wabanzi Valley lead. His kill puts Wabanzi up 7-4. Nico Valley answers and it's Christopher Wagner who gets things going for the Wildcats offense. Nicola Pieter gets into the action and rises up for the kill. Nico continues to rally. Pieter gets another turn at the attack and it takes a deflection off the block and falls in for a point. Nikwa leads 11-9. The game is tied at 12. Amari rough and kill is too much for the Wildcat defense as the Warriors regain the lead. Chase Marston uses a perfectly placed roll shot, catching the Warriors defense off guard as they regain the lead 16-13. Warriors up 22-17. Paeta tries to ignite Nico Valley's later set comeback with his kill, making the score 22-18. The efforted rally from the Wildcats ties the game at 22. They got six straight points, placing the pressure on the Warriors to answer. It's Gopinoff on set point who stuffs Pieter, ending the Nico Valley rally. Wabanzi picks up set one win, 25-22. Duvra Josti opens up set two with an ace as Nico Valley regains the early momentum. Josti sets up Blake Thompson for the kill, making it 3-1 Wildcats early on. As he didn't set one, Johnson puts down another kill for the Warriors, this time from the right side position. Wagner provides more offense to build on the Wildcats early set two start. His kill gives Nico Valley a 7-4 lead. Marston explodes off the floor and slams it down, extending the lead for the Wildcats 14-8. This time on defense, Martinin uses his 6'4 height to rise up and get a block for the Wildcats. They have their biggest lead, 20-10. Rough and tools the kill off the Wildcat block as they try for a similar comeback that Nico Valley had in set two. They trail 21-12. Nico Valley in full control ends set two with a Wagner kill as they even the match with a 25-18 win. It was all goping off to start set three. His kill down the line gets the game going, then his ace continues a 6-0 start before Nico Valley takes a timeout. Wagner and Marston's offensive game helped bring the Wildcats back to within three after the scoreless start. They trail 8-5. Off the bench, Vishwak Namanreddy gets the kill to help Nikwa Valley get within striking distance down 11-8. Gopinath uses some creativity and places a setter dump as it works to perfection, giving Dub V a 14-11 lead. Marston giving the Wildcats a late spark, lightly sets the ball over the block, landing at the 10-foot line. They're hoping for another comeback. Gopinath closes the door in set three with another block. Wobonzi Valley takes set three 25-16 and remains undefeated in the DVC. We all were kind of down. I mean, some of our players were able to bring that fire up in us and we were able to punch back through and start that streak going. But as soon as third set came around, we started communicating again. We started becoming one full team instead of being separate. 